everybody. So today we are camping. Are we at the campsite right now? No. But there's squirrels everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if you saw our last vlog, we went out camping, but we forgot a ton of stuff. Like I forgot my hiking shoes. Addison only had one pair of clothes. Um, I forgot dish soap. Like there was a lot of important stuff that I forgot. So I was like, you know what? What is that might have been bigger than a squirrel. I don't know. <laughs> it's Alaska. You never know what's out there. I drove all the way home today. I got here pretty quickly. Um, it's about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour uh, here. But on the way back, I do want to show you how beautiful the drive is. And also there's a bakery that's kind of out there that I never go by. So I saw they were open and it's just like a little tiny bakery that if you go to Chena Hot Springs while you are here, which most tourists do when they come here because it's absolutely beautiful. You're going to take the same road that I'm taking and you should definitely stop at any local bakery you see. <laughs> but especially this one, I've actually not been, but I've had her dessert and I know they're amazing. So we're gonna stop out there just for a minute since she's open. Just know this drive is, the wildlife is very loud right now. <laughs> My hair's absolutely crazy, I got it. I don't know if you can see that, but. <laughs> It's got a little braid. If you make the trip up to Chia Hot Springs, just know the road is very, very bumpy, like the first half. I mean, like, probably one of the worst paved roads you will ever go on. It is crazy, um, but it does calm down, and it is not so bumpy after a while. It's actually because of the permafrost out there. Anyways, let's get back on the road and go see the fam. Oh my gosh, I had have never been in here. I've passed it and it seems like I always pass when you guys are closed. Um, so I've never been able to stop, but it's so cute in here. So I went in there and I, I love cute little bakeries. That was adorable. Like 100% if you were going to Chena Hot Springs, stop here. They are open every day except for Sunday and like late hours, like eight o'clock. So come by here, support. They have gluten-free options. They have like dairy-free options. She said she can make just about anything gluten-free if we like order it ahead. Landon has decided to like cut wheat out. We think it's like upsetting his stomach. So he's testing it out. And so far he's with his CIDP, it can cause some like intestinal issues, at least for him. And so he's decided to cut it out. And they had a gluten-free scone, which is so cool. They had some other stuff. They had like a little case of gluten-free and I got one of each of their cinnamon rolls. There was a classic, a maple bacon, and then I think a raisin, so, and then some scones. I don't know, just fun things to, to try. Oh, also, a white chocolate Americano with a splash of cream, iced. That's my go-to because it's less milk. Okay, I better get on the road. I'm probably supposed to be back already. <laughs> going away, get your back, check the tag. Decision is made, lock your door, need no more. It's already paid, cancel your mail for a while. It's a journey for life and I'm going right. Hang on. <gasps> I'm back you guys. It was a nice drive. Uh, stopping at Loray's just made my heart so happy. I love seeing those local places and for some reason I associated them with being like way out of town because we always pass when we come here or when, when we go to Chena Hot Springs. So I'm definitely gonna be making a stop there more. The coffee was phenomenal. What'd you, what'd you think? Oh, it was really good. It's so good. Like one of the best coffees. You're messing up my grill. Oh, wait, it's a guy's job. Just kidding, you don't say that. Listen, someone made some comment like I can't believe Lance said that in the last time he did He 100% jokes because I'm a very independent woman and he knows I like to do stuff I actually do a lot of the grilling at home. He grills if he's home, but 
it's he jokes, okay? Just it's a joke. <laughs> actually been really bad about sharing <laughs> my food like finishing the scene up for the food like this morning I filmed biscuits and gravy didn't show you like the final product and then we just made hot dogs didn't show you the final hot dog and that's just what it's gonna be because this is this is peaceful time so <laughs> we just got done we had a we had a quick protein snack of hot dogs and we tried the Lorraine's goodies which were so good I did not care for the blackberry lavender scone, but it's just because the lavender. I'm sure it, the texture and everything was fantastic. The raspberry white chocolate scone. If you go and you like raspberries duckling. at all. <gasps> you found duckling? Yeah. <laughs> if you go, get the raspberry white chocolate scone. It's so good. Yeah, babies too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ducklin is what we named the duck that keeps following us to all the campsites that we always see. Same duck named Ducklin. Mm -hmm. Huh. Exact same duck. Went from Birch Lake to Granite <laughs> Tours to all sorts of places. <laughs> Alright, right now we're headed out to Angel Rocks. We've never been and that feels terrible to say as a North Polian slash Fairbankskian um, because Everybody, I feel like, has gone out to Angel Rocks. Is it raining? It's raining. Why not? It's raining. <laughs> it got really cloudy while I was driving out here. I was like, oh man. My whole drive was like sunny until I almost got to the campground. So we're just gonna enjoy what we can. It's not raining super crazy right now, so. It's not looking real great out there, actually. <laughs> We found butt cheek. <laughs> we found butt cheek knocks. Rock, he said. Oh, it will be fun, he said. This is like pretty uphill. It is for the last little while, it's been very uphill. <laughs> and we thought it was almost done. Oh, I mean, we might as well. We're probably almost there, right? Oh, First hike of the year. Hold on. We've made it, guys. This is Angel Rocks. Guys, look. I'm full matching. Was this, oh, black shoes. Was this an easy hike, guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
behind us. <laughs> if you come take this hike, please know. It says moderate. Um, this is the craziest hike I think I've ever taken. I haven't taken a lot of hikes, but it is the first part of it is very deceitful and you're like, oh, it's no problem. And then it starts going uphill. And then it goes more uphill and it keeps going uphill. <laughs> So, oh, but man, the view that we're getting is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you are in the wild. All we hear is a waterfall or a river, yeah. and that is all we can hear right here. It's amazing. headed back down and Landon informed me that uh, it's a beautiful view with the side of danger. <laughs> He's not wrong. This is a, quite the crazy trail and also we're on the lookout for like bear and moose and lynx and foxes and all the wildlife and it's definitely quite the hike. Um, absolutely beautiful when we got up there, 100% worth it. One thing about Alaska hikes is that the mosquitoes keep you very motivated to keep moving because as soon as you stop, they are all over you. <laughs> Makes you not want to sit. We were gonna do an MRE out there because we've always done that on our little hikes and There's so many red ants and mosquitoes and whew, We decided to either do it in the truck or back at the camper What's really nice about hiking right now and not when like everything's full bloomed is that we can see through the woods really good like we can see stuff way back there when this is all grown in it's definitely gonna be a lot harder to see through. We're almost there guys. The kids are so tired. It has been quite the adventure today. We're now getting some rain. So fun, absolutely love hiking. As tiring as it is, it feels amazing. <laughs> we found the butt cheeks. We must be in the right spot. Are those all the rocks you picked up? You had those all in your pockets? Is that why you were so heavy? <laughs> you carry I you? So. <laughs> Add this. Oh my word. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're done. We're here back at like the parking area. We're gonna do some MREs. The mosquitoes aren't too bad here. I'm thankful for that. Ooh! Got got beef and barbecue sauce. Hot pocket. So this is oatmeal cookie. <laughs> Oh, that's I still remember the texture and the taste of the fruit cocktail that you would add water to. It was like a it was like a brick, and you were supposed to add water to it to make a fruit cocktail. And I would always just eat it because it was like crunchy. I'll eat it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Good. Good? I got this. Okay. Mm. It kind of gives it like a... Oh. I got really the meat good. itself was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said no beans. The meat is... Dude, the beans were actually kind of good by themselves. 
Is it the cheese? Not a fan. <laughs> We're done with the MREs. That one was not my favorite. It was, favorite. It was a little bit edible. But, I mean, in the woods, it'd be good. We're headed out to Chena Hot Springs. We're not gonna do the pool and the hot springs today. We don't have our swim gear, and it sounded like it was just too much, but we wanna go and check it out for the next time we go. Um, <coughs> we're gonna just walk around. They see, we haven't been out here in probably seven or eight years, so. Um, looking forward to checking it out and coming back at a later time. We will show you guys around. Hotel. The plane. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Wow. <laughs> 1959. How'd you know? <laughs> because. This is kind of cool and random story, but this section, they used to have these on top of our airport. The old airport does not exist anymore, but they sold off parts of these and Chena Hot Springs has used it as like a, like a Fairbanks piece on their building, which I think is pretty cool. to the potato salad. Did you really think I was gonna make potato salad out here? Absolutely not. <laughs> not a lot of my family likes potato salad, so we're going with a tiny little one. They will probably all eat the vegetable thing. Um, I don't even know what to call it. I just chop up a bunch of like cucumbers, bell peppers, celery, and normally I do like an Italian dressing on it and it's so good, but I also got a coleslaw and the kids asked for coleslaw, which I don't think we're gonna get to. So I bought that ranch coleslaw thing and it's actually really good. So hopefully they like. Mm -hmm. 